Okay, yeah, let's pick a giveaway winner. I don't think we announced the exact number, but like I said, we'll probably will soon. I guess for now, we'll continue to give away cash. Soon, we'll probably switch it to just like a merch piece or something like that. Probably next go around. Let's just go to here. Uh, stop at a random time. Someone say stop at a random time. Okay, you said holding it down in the 973. Keep up the grind, fellas. And under. Him. Christian, let's go. That was me. Good looking for the trade. Syracuse Dunk's been hitting hard. TSK to the moon. All right, we got a matchup. Man, where's, my, where's my half dollar at? Two good comments, but you know, there can only be one winner. Heads is going to be Yusef. Tails is going to be Christian. So good luck to you guys. Appreciate the support from all the uh, YouTube supporters. Tails, no tails. Wow. Looks like a tails, right? Is it? That's a tails. So, Christian, let's go. That was me. Good looking for the trade. Syracuse dunk's been hitting hard. TSK to the moon. You are the winner of the random comment giveaway. It's refreshing that a random comment giveaway winner is someone who came in the store, supported, traded up for a really good, expensive sneaker. So, shouts to you. What is up? Today is Tuesday. I want to start this off with one thing. We do not contact any of you guys for money or any item or anything like that via Telegram or WhatsApp or anything like that. I'm getting a lot of messages from you guys saying that you were contacted for the giveaway away and I'm so sorry but we had nothing to do with any of that so you know any involvement in a telegram account saying that you know you won something and got to contact them via telegram or something like that if you click the actual profile it is not us. so to start off I'm so sorry for you guys getting bombarded with that we've tried to report the account we tried to block them you know we do everything we can but at the end of the day we really can't do much more than that so uh, don't respond to that stuff we don't have to change giving away the money maybe change it to like a t-shirt that way people kind of can't get scammed but uh, that's how we're gonna start off the day Let's look down here. Look at this array of orders right here. We got a lot of orders. We got Yeezys, we got Jordans, we got Dunks, we got GS, we got men's, big sizes, small sizes, jerseys, two action figures. As you can see, I have this vision to add like 100 plus action figures to our eBay store. So that's the goal. We got a Derek Carr jersey and a Padres jersey that I just sniped at the flea market. You guys might not see that video for a good two or three weeks though, because I'm a little behind on content. We got this row right here, Pure Monies. But then again, the Marcus Smart Adidas, again, I, I just love the variety here the biotech trainers converse I don't even know where those concepts whatever electro oranges don't really need to say much about these but they're there uh, let's answer this phone call real quick top shelf uh, hello. I got the military black force size 11 their dead stock would you guys like want them yeah I mean we'd want them if you're giving them away sure yeah how much do you think you could give me uh, how much do you want? I don't know. Can I check the thing on StockX and see what the lowest ask is? So I can like look from there and like see. So you're saying you want lowest ask, you're saying? No, no, I said I want to see what the lowest ask is so I can see like what the range is. Like. Currently the lowest ask is 321. So what's the best you think you could do? Uh, I don't know. What's the best you could do? 300? Uh, we probably pay 275, which is about payout at currently. 285? Uh, 275 is what we'd pay. Are you local to the store? Yeah, I live close. I'm like all the way in Pesha Okay. Uh, uh, you know, if you came today, I could do 280, but I'd say that would probably be max. All right. All right, cool, man. Have a good one. Like those fours, but uh, not really sure, you know, how much we want to pay for them at the current moment. Back to this stuff. I mean, again, the array of orders is crazy. Mocha size six and a half. We just uh, completed the, well, actually, we didn't complete it yet, guys. I'm going to be honest. These guys are probably going to be mad, but we still have more GS stuff to list. We listed like a good uh, 80 pairs of GS stuff, I feel like, and some of it is starting to sell. Got a pair of Patrick Ewing's, purple skeleton Air Force Ones. This one's a beauty, man. Brand new Air Max 90 off-white RIP Virgil with damaged box. And we got some t-shirts. Shouts to everyone who's been purchasing t-shirts got a lot of these to get and we also have to get a kurt warner jersey which it's is right here right oh, i already, I already got, got it right there oh it's there cool got a j kid jersey and we got another pair sniped at the flea market these uh gold toe ones bro you got a couple items in there i do Word. We got, um, mm. they heard you know they saw you sell a couple things <laughs> stuff flew off the shelf pretty fast i think like a said like a lot of stuff he did get from the flea market but also a lot of stuff we just got in store as well just like the flu games we just got those orange gatorade sixes so a lot of stuff has been flying especially off the shelves too which is really really good the variety is crazy it's not like the hottest items but it is a wide range 
range of variety from the Take Flight 8 cap and gowns to Winlight 96 to some Converse's, the Electra Orange. Basically like a lot of bricks, low key. But again, we specialize in stuff like that. I think we like to pride ourselves on selling anything. We can move anything and I think it shows. Best shoe is probably the Pure Money Force to me in this batch of um, sneakers and then the J Kid, the Richardson jersey. There's a lot of great stuff, honestly. I have nothing to say, to man. It's just, <laughs> to be honest, the GS stuff that are selling is pretty cool because we had just put up the Bordeaux 7s and they've been uh, used for probably a while. The bone locals came through. We just got the Red Thunder 4s on Saturday. They sell over the weekend, which is really good. Plus, the flu games as well. So, it's just nice to see that everything comes in real quick and then they sell right away. So, pretty good. I just say the flu game. Flu game 12. I need those. That's it. You guys got a size eight out there. Really, really clean. Never needs one. Just saying. And a cherry. And a cherry. And a cherry 12. I also today saw that we hit 10 million views on YouTube, which is a pretty crazy milestone. I did not know we achieved, but we achieved it 12 days ago, which is crazy. Shout out to everyone who watched our flea market video. That came out pretty good. It hits like 20K views so far. So that's always awesome. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens today. We had someone hit us up via DM for a PS5 trade. And again, you know how it is with the trades, guys. A lot of you guys come correct. A lot of you guys don't come correct. So I thought this was like a decent offer we're gonna see if everything comes out copacetic and all that go from there oh wow this uh this box smells like pot good way to start off uh okay so first up we have a ds pair of unc sixes actually okay these don't these don't smell like pot that's good we got a white and yellow 13 these are probably tried on the del sol third pair we got what are they calling these black flints maybe i don't, I don't really know what they're calling them not a bad shoe these are brand new as well size 11 uh, we got this cook daddy pair of uh air jordan 9 kind of beat up but uh, we're gonna sell them for a good price we got this pair of lucky green 13s another you know decently worn pair and last but not least we have a pair of Yeezys. these are the resin 700 mnvns or whatever they're called he traded uh, these six pairs for ps5 but that's pretty fair we're gonna get the ps5 shipped out to him asap we just had a good client come in drop us off a bunch of stuff shouts to him let's just rifle through it real quick it's a lot of dunks stuff like that here we got this ugly dunk here we got a black and white i guess what are those panda high are called this one's really cool honestly if you ask me your Ken Griffey fan it's something different this one right here this is one you definitely don't see too often so if you know you know pretty good condition with OG B grade box so that's pretty cool these don't go for a lot but the quality is really good he actually bought these from here a while back so you know it's all coming full circle next up we got the De La Soul Lowe's remember these were in outlets for like 65 bucks but everyone knows the story obviously they went up a lot here we got these things I feel like we've had these before they don't sell for too much so there's that Ying Yangs I think those are called got these green Gatorades pair of I think they're called Called salt stain highs and last but not least we got this totally smoked pair of red ones so we're gonna uh, clean or get all this stuff ready to go take pictures and go from there you really know what I'm thinking bro it's not military for uh, yeah. If you send me a picture of the college navies that they're supposedly dropping, they do. Right? Yeah. It's literally the same thing. With they blue. do everything but a military. <laughs> it's like you're us everything <laughs> but a military blue forward. It's like you're giving us what we don't want. Like these are cool because they know they, they know that already. That's the thing. I'm gonna just throw a price. I ain't even look. Three. I'm gonna guess two cents. Though. That's what I'm thinking right now. That's how I'm just gonna guess. I'm just guessing off the two eighty. Off the whoa. Off the uh, like mm -hmm. 270 sounds lovely, but I'll do 275. Do 280. 275. I already know what he's about to say. This guy won't do 280, but you asked me for shadows. That's crazy. You asked me for white stuff. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. 280, 280, 280. 275. 280. Payouts 269. Really? Yeah. You could do 280 though. Oh, now it's <laughs> now it's ripped from. I'm though. lying to. Oh, you could do 280 though. Tony Hawk shirt on, got the gold chains, that was crazy. You see the earrings? The yeah. earrings? Shining through the lens. Shh. <laughs> Shining through the lens. First wear on desktop today? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. On a crazy. Tuesday? On and uh, on desktop on a Tuesday is crazy. I, mean, I was gonna leave him for a Mets game, but I was like, yeah. You a Mets fan? Unfortunately, yeah. Bad teams. Yeah. Doing good this year though. Bad Bad doing great. The Nets, the Mets is like the equivalent to the Knicks. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think they're equivalent. Right? I don't when think the last time they won a chip. Nah, nah, I feel you, but like the Knicks is the like, worst team. Like, I, I get you saying. I'm talking about like, but like organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Knicks. Oh, that chip shit. Nice to see you. Two eighty. Not yes. Not yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nah, I hit oh. your foot. I swear to God, it hit my foot. Oh. So you what? Before we look at it, are we doing a reflip? Because you said it hit my foot, it didn't, and it just hit that. Wait, so before we look at hold up, before we look at it, yeah, I don't want yeah, no cheating. Re- 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 you want a reflip? Yeah. Alright. Damn. It was tails too. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> look, bro. <laughs> what? Look, it was tails. It was. Good. Are we running it back? Same thing? I mean, I won. No, you said. <laughs> Yeah, run it back. Let's back. Yeah, bug. Go ahead, bug. Alright, good talk. Heads or tails? Tails again. Tails again. I don't know, why are you acting scary? <laughs> come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Come on, nah, you was acting man. scary. I don't know why you always do. But, I mean, it's your, it's your job, man. Yo, Doe. 280. Forward. I thought it ain't that bad, bro. Collab. For a kid, that's not, that's not bad. Ass, bro. For a kid, that's not bad. <laughs> What's yeah. this, a nine? That's a ten. Yeah, I need a ten, bro. That's crazy. I need a nine of those. But my original was a ten. You want to just uh, Venmo it instead? I can tell you whatever. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do that, because this is updated and it's going to take a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check this down. I'll see you there. Did you sell me last time? How much you put? Uh, one Alrighty, shout out to my brother-in-law who just pulled up. We got some easy slides. Shout out to Lido, just sold us a black military four. And shout out to the other dude who copped the um cool the size nine, cool cool three. You know, Lido and I, he wears my size, so we do a lot of trades and you know selling to each other and stuff like that. But let's get into the sneaker. We got first this, this shoe dropped this past Saturday on the what was that twenty first? Mm-hmm. So the twenty first, these dropped. Kind of interesting to see because we were anticipating getting the military blue force this year. We've been hearing that for like almost two years now and they dropped a black military four off rip i think they're going for like 330 320 like along along the price range i'm not kind of surprised because fours do pretty well but if you just look at the market for fours all the fours that's dropped within like the last year or two years now they all do pretty well let's open the shoe let's see how they look first thoughts i feel like the leather is not terrible you know it's better than some of the previous fours that we got in like you just look at like a taupe a university blue a red thunder a lightning quality is not that amazing even the fire red the leather like on some pairs the leather is already wrinkled on a new pair sometimes i kind of like the leather on this one this is like sway new buff i don't know this material honestly top shelf i've got jordan one's uh bread toes size 11 and a half dead stock high or low uh high okay would you be interested yeah how much you asking for can you do 600 you said bread toes correct yes okay and where are you located i'm in jersey right now but i'm out of state would you be delivering the sneaker or would you be shipping them no nah, I'll, I'll stop by about 20 minutes away Oh. We can work something out. For the 11 and a half, I could do about like, like 540 for him. Yeah. yeah, that's basically payout for him. All right, uh, could you say Retro 6? Maybe I can add this on Deadstock, the H A R E's. Oh, the hair 6s? Yeah. All right, 11 and a half as well, Deadstock? I think it's size 12. Size 12. Is it Deadstock though? Yeah, Deadstock. Uh, okay. Who are you looking for for those? At 200. 200. So about like 740 for the two? Uh, 750 is cool. Cause what's the it cost me ten dollars more on the um red toes. So you want five fifty? Uh seven it's seven fifty seven fifty for both of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, but you want you you want five fifty though, is what you're saying? Yes. That doesn't seem terrible, honestly. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. Yeah, those are like eleven and a half are gonna go up too. But I just gotta get rid of them because I gotta do some things. Yeah. Um. What will you be coming in? I'm trying to make it over there today or tomorrow. You guys close at seven, right? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm trying to make it today, but if not today, tomorrow. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, thank you. No problem, man. All righty, back to the sneaker. Yeah, this sneaker is, you know, it's cool. It's another one of them sneakers if you can't get, like, the original pair or, like, something similar. If you can get a military blue four, you get the black version. Because I do know, because you, you actually thought the blue fours were coming out too, right? Mm-hmm. And I know, Bur- like, someone like Berwin wants the military blue fours. And someone like me, like, military blue fours, you know, lucky enough, it came to my size. But if I'm, like, some of you guys out there who who's still waiting, like, I would kind of be pissed about this sneaker. But I think for just a shoe concept, it's 
it's cool it's simple it's a black and white probably a sneaker that's gonna go up i think it's gonna be probably a 400 dollars sneaker because it's just simple white and black sneaker you look at the white oreos the white oreos is at like four something now it should reach but like black hats are at like 800 900 thousand again just a black and white sneaker like this especially a jordan 4 it's only gonna go up honestly what do you think about this sneaker um i'm not mad at the quality like the guys have been saying like the leather is pretty cool I'm not sure about the suede part a lot of people are thrown off by it the black and white concept's pretty cool what i like about the shoe the most is probably like the box <laughs> but um as far as the shoe itself it's not that military floor so like for people who like own the military floor or just like we're part of the era it's kind of like uh why can't you just give us that but i guess they're trying something new with this you know i'm not mad at it especially if people are just trying to get into the sneaker game we're trying to get something simple to go with anything like this is definitely a shoe that you could you know just throw on overall i'm not mad at it i just wish it was a military floor because they do that to us every year they, they, they tell us that a military floor is going to come out and then this happens so it's gonna sound crazy but i just feel like this is just like extremely white like i'm looking at the militaries and then i'm looking at these it's not this right as a, of a white and this is um leather or something like that it was just like it's all leather right i think so I think yeah that's so. what i remember too i don't know i don't uh not 8045 it's a the 99 it's the 99 one it's the one he did in uh 18 sold out shows or something in continental airlines arena in the metal lands yeah the 99 one doesn't really go for much no no um can we do 170 for the um the next yeah that's fine all right i'm gonna just throw on the shirt <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, if you want the blue ones, man, I said just wait. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna dip. I think the blues might be going for less. I seen y'all. Y'all don't like. I like it better without the padding, bro. I seen the video y'all talking about. Mm, I don't know. For me, just hit, nah. it just doesn't hit the same. It's a cool shoe, though. Don't get me wrong. But I don't know. For me personally, I just wasn't a huge fan seeing it in person. Build a Union Two size nine just now. It's kind of crazy because that shoe doesn't really go for much. But when we do get it, or the times that we've gotten it, like the last three times, they all have gone pretty fast. So pretty excited about that because you know, like seeing stuff come in and leave, you know, pretty quickly. We also sold the Pine Green Three. Happy about that sale. But this shoe right here, if you watched the last video that we just dropped last week. Week. you guys heard me say like i'll take a chance on these boots one thing about working here is like you learn how to take risk in this new game so risk for us is like buying stuff that's a little bit different sometimes we could possibly make good money on so that's one thing i you know i learn from a all the time we mess around and like laugh at a sometimes because he buy like some crazy weird stuff but at the same time it's like he knows what he's doing and like that stuff sells from you know for pretty pretty because he sees the vision he knows what that shoe has sold for before and he's done it before so stuff like that we, we like to learn so but these like i don't even know what to call them but they're just like low-key like an igloo color with a white base pretty nasty and kind of nasty to buy these during basically summertime but these are going out to brooklyn this show for a pretty good price it's just one of the things where we just want to you know we try to be different and we try to give you guys different stuff at the same time as well as the hype stuff because we know you guys like the dunks and the fours and stuff like that but yeah let's box this stuff up let's get it out and hopefully the post dudes gonna come actually like the next hour or two so potentially whatever i get for this yeah needed to like a potential sneaker that's here you're trying to trade yeah okay these might be tricky just because they're super low yeah i was probably gonna just i mean i know they probably super under market i think the last one i was sold was like 170. uh zebra uh the white oreo white oreo okay. yeah what shoes were you interested in i don't know if you saw any or do you guys have any like eight and a halfs we do eight. just depending on what you're looking for I was looking at a Jordan 4 Union. You guys are uh, off new ones. Okay. Did you call? I didn't call. Uh, potentially getting something like oh, Top Shot 150. I thought there was Cougars at first. Nah. Top Shot 150. This is your first time here? Yeah. Where are you, where are you from? I f I'm from Marstown, so I'm okay. from near like uh, oh, okay. Florham okay. Park, okay. kind of yeah. like right there. This one is tough because they're going for around the 150. So this one's going to be tricky. I think this one will have to come back. Two. Um, what are you looking at for these two? So I got a number of mine on this. Okay. I got three twenty for this, okay. and I know the last Easy Slide Onyx. I was looking to get like one twenty. Can we do a hundred on the slides? Yeah, let's do a hundred um, on the slides. Okay. Do you have Georgetown ones? Can you do two seventy here? What about two ninety? I think the best I can do here is 275. Probably 275 on this one. Easy for us, it's a little bit trickier to move. Should we do a coin flip? Oh, yeah. 
you be watching. There's a second guy today to ask for a coin flip. These I think I might have to hold off on. These for 150, I'm kind of intrigued that, I'm not gonna lie. So 250 here, and I can do the 275, which is 525. 100, 150. Mm -hmm. What size are the off the wars? Eight and a half. I know you guys have them for like 950. Is there any way we could do like 800? I can. What about 900? Can I look around? Yeah. I should make like my final decision. Yeah, go ahead. Look, look around. Um, make your final decision and then come back and we'll see what we can work out. We'll do. We'll do. So we originally had five twenty-five with heavy cut. If you have seventy-five, then you want to get three. What do you think? I'll do that. All of this for six hundred. You take this for three. Yep. That works. I, I believe my boss did say like he could do nine. Uh, above 50 oh, no. But that's cool with you. That'll be cool with me. But again, think about it. This is a great pair right here. That's what I'm saying. It's been, it's been the well, ultimate grill. All we do is send pictures of this shoe. This, yeah. this is a great yeah. pair, man. Because I was originally going for the guavas. I'm like, I can like so much more fit with this. It's funny. He likes the guavas I those weird too. more yeah, than I these. Know, I just, I I'm the, you and I'm vice versa. I love these more than the guavas. He we broke the rim at high. What's on it? He broke the rim at high. We like an email text. Yeah, nah. He my boy, but I have one up there. How you like to pay? Um, Clark. All right, cool. You have that Moselle people? I'll sell. Oh, yeah, can you sell it? Yeah. All right, cool. No one else got these yet. Yeah, what are you? The Orlando stickers. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. They're going to Orlando next week for um, a sneaker show. Yeah. So uh, we got like Orlando um, stickers and stuff. Which one is it? Uh, sneaker sets, right? Yep. That's yeah. funny. Okay. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be at the stores and everything like that, and they're going to be at the, um, the event and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, whenever you're ready, let me know. Yeah. And um, I can get you the um, email number. Uh, number. Nine seven three. As I'm here, um, we just sold some Union Fours. It's funny, we literally just got those in stock and uh, literally sold within like a day or two. And we just sold some uh, Metallic Navy. So shout out to those dudes for pulling up, trading, and buying stuff. And this is a sale that is going out to the Bronx. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right. Uh, Camille, shout out to you for purchasing all this stuff. They found it all on our eBay store and they made us an offer. And the offer was fair, so we're gonna accept it. Here we got an authentic pair of Warrior shorts. Here we got an authentic pair of Orlando Magic shorts. Here we got a nice white side. New with tags jersey. Here we have an Orioles jersey. This one's crazy right here, guys. This is the Mark McGuire USA on the sleeve. I believe that was his rookie jersey right there. And then last but not least, we got this. I call it the Creamsicle Cooperstown collection, New York Yankees jersey. This just definitely gives off those uh, Field of Dream vibes right here for sure. Not too much over retail, but like 25 over retail. These shoes. Nah, they're right now. But they are just on these. The other ones are yeah. These are Barrett. Oh, not these Barrett. These are 7211. Why are you keeping the Barrett's? How much are you asking for these? Uh, same thing. Probably return. These are probably hold off on. I'll say you can just return them and get your money back. Is it retail on these? Nah, they're going for retail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't treat this as new, honestly. Look at the back. That's probably just from like touching the shoe. They 100% not one. 100% not one. That's probably just from touching the shoe. You probably just wipe that off with a little bit of alcohol. It's that style. Nah, I feel I just don't want to take that chance because that's. That I got the receipt and everything. I'll show you the receipt if you think they fake or something. If that's nah, what you want to do. No, I said I'm crushing that they're not new because you said new. Like, nah, they that style. Like, you, you can tell. I have never put these shoes on. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's probably just from holding, checking the shoe on. Up here, we just did a pretty big buyout for the size 12 guys out there. So hit up topshelfkicks.com. Hopefully, a lot of this stuff is still up there. Let's just go through just a couple real quick. You know, just just a couple. You know what that label is, so we'll just leave that label there. But this is an interesting one. 2004 Olympic sevens. Wear at your own risk, but still, it's such a classic, classic shoe. Here we got a lightly used UNC one size 12. These are super clean right here. And then if you see this, you know what that is. Wait a minute now. 420 editions. You can't have have you know those if you don't have these very clean bought a bunch of other stuff not gonna bore you with that but that's what happened today I got a question if this was an 11 and a half would you be keeping it a hundred percent I have this pack I thought I, I thought about keeping the green ones oh someone's coming in oh, yeah. oh that's so weird yeah. 
We didn't know we had two, we have two. That's why I said it was weird. Those are the Nike others. I call this you guys take. Yeah. How much are you looking for for these? Um, honestly, whatever. Yeah, I just want to do trade for the union. Alright? Yeah, sure, I got you. Nothing at all. Hundred. <laughs> and I mean, uh, yeah. Nah, you, I nah, mean, I have no. Now nah, you can tell me how much you want. There you go. All right. Maybe like four. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, we have a bunch of used pairs. That's kind of what we try to get four to five for them, and they just kind of sit. It might be worth trying to sell them on your own. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not saying we're offering you a hundred. Like, we'd yeah, offer yeah. you more than that. But what were you thinking? Like two fifty or some shit? Like three twenty five for both. What do you mean? This range of blues too. So I don't know, these might be worth, you know, putting them on gold or something yourself. You guys wouldn't be able to do five for all and I put four on top of these? Uh, nah, these, we just got, you know, the, the unions yeah. are unions, you know what I mean? 450 on top. Um, I mean, what, nah, right? Because we, we had them priced for nine, so I mean, Yeah, that yeah. nine is up there for a while now, too. So what do you be for all? 325-ish, 350, call it, for, for everything here. Nice store store credit? Yeah. Um, Alright, then I'll be back then. Yeah, no worries. Like I said, I'd definitely put these up yourself, bro. Yeah. I mean, I'd assume sure. you'd be able to get more. Just, yeah. We have a few pairs. They just sit. Gotcha. Sure. Guys, know what you want for your products in life, in business. Know what you want for the item you are selling. You are the seller. You want the money. Know your product. Know what you want for it. That's all I gotta say. Throwing back up. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. Oh. YouTube, what is up? Today is Wednesday. We are here. Light day of orders, you know, nothing too crazy, but definitely some good stuff if you ask me personally. First off, elephant in the room. These things are going for some chicken, guys. And uh, is this a shoe that's gonna go above $1,000? I mean, these things sold for like over 800 bucks. I mean, we've been holding them for a while and it's time to let them go for that price. That's crazy. Speaking of that's crazy. These are really not going for anything, which to me is crazy. But again, I think this is good for people like me who wanna be able to buy a sneaker that they like for like around retail. Leather's really good on this pair. Put these up for 230 shipped and they sold overnight so shout out to whoever purchased those here we got the unc 11 low this shoe brand new look it up super hard to find this is an 11 and a half so you know that size goes for some bread got some used racer blue fives i'm a fan of this colorway even though it does give off the vibe of like a fake jordan we got some space jam nine little crispy as you can see by the bottoms and then we got a brand new pair of lightning fours at the bottom we got a pair i did find from the flea market the air bacons we got some air raids and we got the unc sixes those are used but brand new prices or like 800 bucks on those and we can attest to that because we sold one the other day for that crazy price gary got a new phone so uh hey. we don't have to fire him now <laughs> um let's see if this is worth anything here top shelf hey i was wondering uh, how much i can get for some shoes i can probably ship them out they're all dead stock what do you have for sale okay uh unc sixes size eight they also 13 size nine j5 size nine playoff 12 size 8.5 or purple 13 size nine Mm -hmm. Jordan 1 size 9.5 Okay And let me see what else I got in there I just want to get rid of them uh, Let's see what else I got in there Damn closet Oh, some Midnight Navies Jordan 13 size 9 Okay, so it sounds like you have some decent stuff. The issue is like that type of inventory right now for us really isn't moving. I mean, we could make you an offer on it, but a lot of that stuff's probably gonna be less in retail. And judging that you said you would ship them out all out, I just feel like that kind of stuff, you'd probably just be better off selling on your own locally, to, you know, because uh, we'd be pretty low on it. Do you have any numbers in mind? I'm just kind of giving you the suggestion to try to sell them locally, man. I mean, a lot of those shoes oh, are, ba are barely hitting retail, you know what I mean? So we'd have to be lower. And then if you're shipping them all to us, I mean, you know, that's gonna cost as well. So I, I I would just try to try to sell them locally it'd probably be your best oh, bet okay then thank you no problem man have a good one while we're on that topic buying jordans and nikes and yeezys and all these shoes is really cool but you're not gonna make a fortune off every single one we get calls all the time about certain sneakers it's like oh i have every shoe that came out in the last three months and i'm trying to sell them all sometimes they're not even selling for retail will they sell for more than that down the line in six months a year two years possibly right now for our clientele and our inventory obviously everything we buy we have to be comfortable on the deal feel good about it even if it sits for a few months or even if it doesn't sell so a lot of this new inventory we don't buy or if we buy it we have to be at a good number on it because it's really not moving which is funny because back in the day the midnight uh sixes for instance i would feel really bad about not having like a nice shelf about five six pairs of those on release date because i felt like every shoe store should have the newest release and a decent amount of them now i have the total opposite feeling because not everything is worth grabbing, right? 
applause. What's up? Well, again, we get those calls a lot and you know, don't take offense to it. Even when people walk in here and they have stuff that just came out and it's like, oh, I only want 25 over retail. And it's like, yeah, me too. If I sold them in here, that's all we would want too. But like, we can't even get that. So that's the issue. What's the moral of the story, bro? I think the moral of the story is buy what you like, what you actually like. If you're buying something to make money on it, be ready to lose the money or take a loss because not everything is going to just jump to the moon, right? You're not going to buy De La Soul or what's it called? Del Soul 13 and like make a hundred bucks. I wish it was that easy. It's not 2000 2009 anymore where every Jordan is like selling for 50 to 100 dollars over retail even some of the good ones aren't even selling for retail so Jordan anything for the people in the navies and the space jams both came in yesterday already out in less than 24 hours out in 24 hours then they really slept on the sneakers the air bacons you know the issue with the air yeah so back in the day the air looked like um I don't know like the correct terminology but like Islamic or I know the exact word but like Islamic is part of Allah yeah and you know they got a lot of backlash and so like Nike cancel and that was Tim Harwood's sneaker. Friday and Saturday, me and Berwin will be in Orlando. It's gonna be a movie. Very exciting. I haven't been out of the state in a while, so I'm excited. Hopefully, Berwin's excited as well. Uh, gonna, you know, hop on a plane, get there on Friday, see what we're gonna do, maybe make a vlog, something like that. And on Saturday, we're going to the Sneaker Sesh show. I'm really excited because a lot of these videos that we did at sneaker shows are really picking up steam right now. Our last uh, two GoPro videos at sneaker shows, both are at like 100K plus. One is over 150K. This next video has really good potential. I think uh, it's exciting. I'm I'm looking to buy a lot of stuff. One thing on my list, I haven't gotten it yet. Guess, 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 guess. The force. Yep, 11 and a half in the black uh, militaries. That's what they're called. Need a pair of those. So, you know, that, that might be a nice one to get while I'm down there, hopefully. Berwin's probably gonna be looking for some vintage items, some cool hats and then cool stuff. Hopefully people have like, I don't know, who knows, like old Orlando Magic gear or something like that. That would be fire, kind of just like whatever. The focus on the trip will be getting the good content for you guys to enjoy and uh, kind of making you guys feel like you're there with us. I think that's why people like our channel. Try to be as real as possible and very like interactive and kind of in the moment. I also ordered Berwin. We ordered a cool, what's it called? gimbal mm -hmm. that should be fun to work with and uh you know these guys are going to hold down the store on friday and saturday so obviously uh hopefully they can do that hopefully they can handle everything anything else yeah i can't wait can't wait for them to go to florida because when we see the video we'll be seeing it like with you guys, with you guys so you know, we'll be there no the we're like the audience now oh yeah that is know? true that's interesting it's gonna be yeah. cool i think um just really cool to see like the store is gonna be open they're gonna be florida but like we have two things functioning at the same time so it would be really cool it'll be really cool because us three will be in the store at and Gary and I. You guys don't see Evan a lot, so if you guys pull up, you guys will see a lot of Evan. Yeah. You know, Gary will be back, so it's gonna be like new faces, you know, so um, somewhat, but I think it's really dope. It's a great opportunity for everyone. I'm excited for them to, you know, just get out the state and technically a business trip, but still enjoy Florida, enjoy the scenery, just get out the state for a couple of days, see how the market is down there, see what people buy out there, you know, because something that sucks out here may do really well down there. So, hope all you guys who's out there in that area pull up on them, say what's up, sell them some good stuff, sell them some good items. Great. Take pictures so i'm really excited because you know for me it's definitely like a new task it's definitely like a new opportunity i think it's something that's going to become in the future too so i'm going to get these orders packed up get some business done today and see what happens you go with it like that but that's literally how he got it how you guys like to pay um card oh, like on my phone yeah that's cool were well, you guys like a bag um no it's okay all right uh would you like an email text or print receipt uh you can print it okay yeah. There you go. Cool. There you go. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good we got three more orders that's going out today. Two Air Forces and the Yeezy. A lot of stuff, especially like since yesterday. We've been selling like a lot of stuff in like the last 24 hours. So I'm really happy about that. We're going to start off here. Shout out to Jeff. He's located in Jersey. We have some Nike Air Force One Lunar. Is this like the Area 72 one? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Just dusty, but honestly, they're really clean. No hill drag. Has all the stars. So shout out to you, Jeff. Clapping it. You know, put the shoes right here. We move over here. This is a Nike by you customized air force shout out to jesus in milwaukee this is supposed to be i guess like a red or like a bread toe custom really clean no creases probably worn once all stars and all that got a really clean pair of shoes too something different i like that little gold um nike emblem right there and then shout out to jeans is going through authentication this shoe has gone up a little bit the price
surprised me this shoe's going for like, you know, around 375 4 but uh, size 13, easy Oreo. I know you guys hear it say all the time, Yeezys are really tough for us. They really are. It's really hard to buy Yeezys unless we could get them for a good price. Shout out to those three people who just copped some really good items. They're gonna get it box style and gonna get it uh, shipped out later on today when the post lady or man arrives. We got some stuff that's like sitting in the warehouse or in the back that's not up, for example. I knew we had a nine. I just wanted to see how much we had it for because I was thinking about like buying it again. And I went on eBay and it wasn't there. So this shoe is gonna be on our eBay and we're probably gonna put this shoe on go honestly. Gary's taking pictures of a bunch of size 12 stuff. We got a What the Mars. This is stuff that came in yesterday, but just a quick rundown. What the Mars, Red Fours, really, really clean. Some white cement fives, DMP pack, some black hat size 13. Size 12, yeah, everything size 12. Went like 82s, went like 96s, some French blues, some OG Olympic 7s, dead stock. A lot of really good stuff in those big boy sizes because we do get a lot of people asking or thinking that we don't carry those sizes. We really do. It may not look like it on the shelves, it goes by so but we, we really, yeah, it goes by really fast. And we try to keep that stuff for you guys because that stuff goes by pretty fast because the demand and those sizes have gone up lately. Being a lot of easy slides, so shout out to everyone who's been pulling up and selling us easy slides for really good prices. I know the market's down for them, so we're trying to get for a good price and also sell to you guys for a good price it's summertime approaching you want the toes out on a dog right now I, I'm, I'm probably gonna buy another pair soon Gary's thinking about getting a pair Burwin got two pairs you know you got two pairs he yeah. got one for his birthday he got one last year too game five tonight Miami versus Celtics hopefully it's a good game hopefully it's not a blowout you got a lot of blowouts lately Burwin and A will be down in Florida this upcoming weekend pull up on them if you guys need anything you know DM us call the store I preferably call the store because one of us can answer the phone and then we can redirect you to the um to the DM then we can get stuff situated and stuff like that we've been trying to do a better job answering dms and stuff like that we're gonna get more eyes and more people on it too so we're gonna get a little bit better at that if you guys see something on ebay do not message if it's available because more than likely it is available trades and stuff like that out of stage we prefer if stuff was brand new unless the item that you guys have is something rare and you know crazy but for the most part if you're if we're talking about just like a fire at four lightning stuff like that we would prefer the sneaker to be new if it's coming from out of state one of our subscribers who follow me on instagram is about to pick up a black hat for 11 and a half it's like this one right here this is about to go to chicago i'm about to get a lot of heat for this but shout out to everyone from chicago like real fact i i get like most of like my requests and shit like that i get from like people from chicago and a lot of people i do interact with from youtube are people from chicago so shout out to everyone from chicago because a lot of people know i'm a bears fan and stuff like that shout out to you guys you guys really show love you guys really hold it down definitely trying to visit gary said he's, he's gonna visit soon this yeah, summer i'm about to visit okay. you know got a lot more work to do today got a lot more stuff to clean a lot more stuff to flick up a lot more dms to answer so a lot of stuff to do in this beautiful place of top shelf kicks and honestly i know i'm ranting on i know burn on it's tired <laughs> but like, i feel like we got the best customer service around we really pride ourselves on customer service and we really go like extra mile to make you know someone you know happy make sure they're satisfied with their purchase and i like the team we have here and i like what we do here because again everything here is about experience and we try to work with everyone here so again shout out to everyone and yeah I like 40 each. So 120. If that worked. I don't pay you pay or cash. Hard. Oh, Be easy. You're doing a lot of business today. Gary, pass me one of those, please, sir. Thank you. Boom. 72 and 10 lows. We just got a hefty amount in. Shouts to the plug on that one. You know who you are. We just paid what I thought was a really good price for these. They're going for about retail. The way I look at it sometimes, if you could get stuff under retail and sell it for retail, it's like, that's what's up. Especially a sneaker like this. Jordan was joking. He said, what you say? Like four years ago or five years ago or something? Like this would be crazy. The way I look at it, it still is crazy. I mean, basically 72 and 10. I think the only Jordan to have this plush leather on the upper correct me if i'm wrong guys i don't remember any other jordan to have this plush leather upper everything else is at like knit the suede but i don't remember anything with this leather upper so i'm still thinking like 11s or any 11 with a leather upper this plush because again 72 and tens again have this plush like soft leather upper where all these other 11s usually have that knit upper or that sometimes a suede upper or that soft suede upper or i mean maybe this one of these weird ones but no this is more that 
suede. So again, only uh, 11 with that plush leather. Basically an all black sneaker. I feel like a lot of people when they buy sneakers, they want something all black or something that at least will last them, especially people who only buy a couple sneakers, right? Obviously people like uh, sneaker fiends out there, we buy multiple pairs of different shoes, different colorways, but the regular degular, most likely he's making a purchase saying, hey, what sneaker can I wear with anything? Can I wear a lot, not get beat up? I feel like this is a, a good contender for that. That's the right word for it. So enough about that. Yesterday, I was like, yo, the Rangers have to win today. I was seeing signs all day. I only bet like a little bit on it. I'm trying not to bet much on sports anymore because I always lose. But of course, the Rangers won the game and they're advancing to the next game. But look at this, guys. The nice uh, starter. We always say Messier or Messier jersey. This thing is so fresh, man. It is like you pulled it off the Models rack. I mean, literally, it got the little thing in there. And it's just a beautiful piece. Shouts to uh, the person in, I believe, Miami who ordered it. She said, get it out ASAP. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get it out ASAP before they get knocked out. Let's hope they win. This is this another sign that they're going to win again? It's funny because I was looking at it and I'm like, damn, they're down too low. Last round, bro, I was like, yeah, if they win, I'm going to wear my jersey. I was like, yeah, if Tim Bray win, I'm going to wear mine too. Just never did it, but I would like to see the Rangers mm -hmm. go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Ooh, ooh, we got to make a bet if the Rangers go to the Eastern Conference Finals. We don't know nothing about hockey. You have a Rangers jersey and I have a Tim Bray. Let's, all, let's also ooh. make a couple more things clear, guys. We don't know anything about hockey <laughs> or sports in general. Like, when we talk about our sports predictions, like, we're not always going to be right. A lot of people are like, oh my God, y'all said Suns, Bucks. So what? Well, like, what do you think we're sports <laughs> gurus guys if we knew the outcome of all these future sporting events would not be here talking to you guys on camera we'd be living a luxury lifestyle out in like aruba or something like that just gambling on games so you know we're just joking around here when we tell you our picks and our predictions uh we don't think we're always going to be right we're probably never really always right but you know this is entertainment this is a fun show more than just sneakers it's just like everyday things and that's what we talk about every day so who's winning the stanley cup i have no idea i haven't been watching honestly i hate the rangers i grew up liking the devils I, i'm gonna Jersey lightning. shit. I'm gonna go lightning. Back to back champs. Who's the favorites? The Avalanche, right? They did say Avalanche in the beginning. They were the favorites. Yeah. Yeah. But the lightning just swept the fucking Panthers. And the Panthers were like, I looked at it, you know, I don't know nothing about hockey. I was looking at records and stuff like that. And the Panthers had a seven game advantage over them. And they just washed them. So back to this though. <laughs> Sorry guys, we got a little off track, but just amazing that uh we're selling stuff like this. Maybe you did thrift it, you probably did, sold it to me for more than you paid, and then we sold it for more than that. Well, I'm so sorry. Ah, that's cool. How you like your bag? Would you like a bag? No, I don't want a bag. Alright, bro, appreciate you, man. No problem. Someone wanted to do a legit check. Alright, where you getting from? Uh, so, somebody that I know give it to me. But to be honest, I looked at it, I was like, I told him, I checked it, I think it's fake. Is that the box? But he's like, hey, you want to check it? Yeah, that's the back. I check it, I'm like, yo, I think it's fit. It look weird to his knowledge, but every time I checked it, it doesn't really. Yeah, so I've been out of it. Nah. So I put it over there. It doesn't look. So Gary, come look. Just look at the R, right? That's the first thing. Yeah. Look at the inside now. Yeah. Just look at the shape. Look how wide this is. Yeah. And then, it's kind of hard to see. But just look at the... The fat. Look at, you see the, uh, you see it? You see how it looks like a sticker? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just look at this one. Look how bold this is. See how stiff that is. Mmm. Damn. Yeah. I so learned something this. new today. Okay. Just feel the leather. Just feel the pan leather. Like, it's a big difference. Look at the color difference. Yeah. See, this. Mm. Yeah, we, we, we didn't have a comparison. We didn't have a. Yeah, okay. Because remember the other pair that y'all had? Y'all had one for like. Y'all had a size eight and a half, and I came here last mm -hmm. time for them. Yeah. Somebody took them, and I was like. I wanted to take those to buy those and compare with this mm -hmm. one. So yeah, this I'm pretty sure this is um fake. Yeah. I, I don't like using the word fake. Because <laughs> like when you when, when people hear fake, they yeah. get like triggered like ah, but no, I, 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 I wouldn't even know like I usually just say no good. Yeah. Yeah. I, did. I was yeah, thinking it was real. Different. Look at it. Just the color is off. The tongue, the, 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 the back piece. Just look, yeah, look at the M. You see how smooth the yeah. M is? In the eye. And the, F. and the M is bigger. Damn, like this is something that you would have to really look up close to it. Like you see how it's wide. That's the first thing I looked at, and I knew it was off. Besides the color, because this one's a lot darker than this one. But you see how that one goes straight up, and that one's just wide. Just look at it. Like this is a ten and a half, and this is a nine and a half. But why does a nine and a half look bigger? You know what I'm saying? It's so wide. Oh, oh, trade off. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I got two pairs of these, so I was like, I don't need yeah. to. <laughs> how much you looking for for these? I was for like two thirty. I can probably do is like two. I know retail is two ten. 
two is probably the best thing to do. They're only going for two forty, and the seven hundred model is not doing too yeah, well for yeah. us. Um, um, you know, I paid. I got the international. That's why I saw paid shipping itself. I think I was just passing it. Yeah, that's fine, yeah, bro. You know, so, you have yeah, yeah, sure. two. Yeah. All right. How much you asking for these? Uh, if anything, I, I could just go retail. Retail? What was retail? I think two ten. I think I'll just hold off one of these. We haven't bought one of these. This is super low. I think we'll just hold off one. Sorry about that. We just bought some bead. Wait, we got that other pair of Air Forces too, right? Oh, it's right here. Anyways, bought some beaters, bought some used playoffs, and uh, I just got this in the mail. I have no idea what it is, so we're gonna film it. But it feels like a figure, right? It does. It does. So. Like, I feel like I'm allowed to cut this because it's like a piece of cardboard, but I don't really know. All right, now I'm stumped. I really don't know what this is. I thought it was a Me too, but now. Huh? Because it's like the, the edge, edge, right? Yeah. Like, like, did you order another figure? I'm trying not to order any figures. I got enough figures. We're trying to sell figures. Any guesses? Any guesses? I think it's a Tesla. Oh. A key to a Tesla. <laughs> or urine. Guy, what do you think it is? Uh, sure, I don't really know, man. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Watch it be something I ordered and I just didn't remember. Oh, oh hey, Gary. You missed wow. it. Did I order anything? It's the logical man. I think check if I ordered something first. Girl, what is it? It's a key to a house. <laughs> and there's a dog in there. I don't know. It's moving. Man, this is OD. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> Seriously. This is crazy, guys. Greetings, fan of the videos in your channel. I lived in Monmouth County for about 14 years. This New Jersey Devil Stanley Cup hockey puck, which is signed by Scott Stevens and Ken Danico, was my brother's, and I figured I would like to donate the hockey puck to your shop. Hopefully, the rest of 2022 goes well for you and your business. God bless, Mike P. Dang, Mike P, that's fire. And I don't know if you saw my video the other day. I talked about that Devil's jersey autographed by Ken Danico. Ken Danico was a guy that, for some odd reason, I met him like three or four times with my dad because we used to always go to these like autograph signing and Ken Danico used to get busy and speaking of that Ken Danico's in the building right now Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about hockey earlier this is so funny I used to follow hockey a little bit back in the day and you know if you know Devils, Scott Stevens number four big captain defensive player I'm used to get busy so this is really cool we're gonna open it up I'm gonna take out the knife for like the eighth time and hopefully not cut myself you know you guys who have been sending us stuff it's really cool like I never thought anyone would take their time to do stuff like this so um you know everything we do get we try to keep and then if we end up not keeping it donated or something like that but like stuff like this either i put it in my office or we put it around the store for people to look at and enjoy and i still can't open this dang thing wow it's in a case too dang look at that guys with the 1995 on the back that's pretty that is cool, man. I just need to take it out. We're talking about hockey pucks. You guys ever play roller hockey? Nah. Mm -hmm. Put the garbage cans down. I'm too black for that. No. No. Well, guys, if you ever played roller hockey out there, you remember, you know, you could use the puck or you could use the little balls. They weren't you know, that little. They were like decent sized balls. You know, like. <laughs> Tennis ball size, but there were these rubber NHL balls. They're usually orange balls. And, uh, you know, put the garbage cans down, make goals, and I used to just go crazy. But yeah, really good memory there. And uh, shouts to Mike P, man. This is really cool. We're going to put this up on the mantle for everyone to look at. And I just, like, love that logo. That looks pretty sweet. Mike P is definitely pushing peas. Mike P has been pushing P for a very long time. Shouts to you. Thank you so much for the support. This right here. The old shit, but... I can't fit them no more. Okay. What did you want for everything? Uh, shit, man, give me a price. You got no price on everything? Uh, these right here, I was saying probably for like 160. Okay. Like these? 160. Them probably like 110. Okay. Oh, probably like 100. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And these right here probably like 50 dollars. Alright, cool. These are probably a hold off one just because like. Looks like I got water damage on the upper. These I can't do 100 or 110 just because they're going for like 90 online. Uh, well, give me 90. I can't, man. I just be really low. I just pass on this shoe. Yeah. Um, this one too. They're really low. They're only at like 170. I'll probably be at like 75 for this one. You say probably like you say how much for this? Like 75 because it's used. They've been worn one time though. Not for you, but I try to get like 140 out of them realistically. So that's probably where I'll be at. And then these two, I'll probably just hold off on. Yeah, I got mad 
my other shoes too. I mean, I, mean, I ain't even know y'all. I still got them right there, the size 10. They still like in good condition. This is your first time here? Yeah, this is my first Where time. Where you from? Here. I'm from South Carolina. You just moved out here? Yeah, I just moved oh. out here. Oh, uh, yeah, where? How you so, find out about us? Uh, shit, I actually looked online for real, for real. Where? Yeah, where? So I was like looking up some stores and shit, like shoe stores and everything. Yeah. That's a dope ass bucket hat. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it, bro. I was saying, yeah, some of my people love this stuff for real, for real. How you like it out here? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's real nice, calm, cool, collective and shit. Six thirty. About to wrap it up. Always wrap it up. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> I told you how bars are here. I told you, give me in the booth. But yeah, it's it's six thirty. All the guys are here. Gary's doing some listing. Have it up for Gary. Finally got a new phone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> number of fuzzy photo. <laughs> I see a fuzzy photo named Gary. Don't worry, I used to have foggy photos too until I got in the phone. Ed used to slander me on it like, yo, like, what's good? Wipe your camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone's dying back there. Uh, my pictures sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. No, no, no craziness with the camera here. It's just bad pictures. Nah. <laughs> yo, bro, you sent me one of your pictures before. I said, no. <laughs> the, the black hat fours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but yeah, man. Um, we just dropped a video. Yep. Just dropped, just dropped the video. video. Uh, there's a crazy phone call on it. It's a long phone call. You know, wasn't sure if I wanted to include it or not, but uh, we want to keep this channel as real as possible. And you know, business is business. I didn't preach on this yet, so I might do that another day. But I just love good business, quality business, man. That's it. Good business. And good food. And good drinks. <laughs> and good shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yo, Evan's terrible, yo. Evan can't be around me, yo. Evan, 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 <laughs> this Burns one and done. I have Burn. Take over. What, what the back of the shirt say? <laughs> Damn, take no prisoners. You just, just chill people. Alright, guys. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> Catch you guys tomorrow. One and done. Oh, peace. <laughs> <laughs> Still rolling. Stop. YouTube, what's up? Today is Thursday. As you can see, we have a few orders. Not the craziest day, but a couple things. What is the trend here, Berwin? Celtics. Celtics is the trend, guys. I guess they won last night. We got the hat. We got the Larry Bird with tags jersey. And we got the Lucky Green 13s. The person who bought the Lucky Green 13 said, please ship these out ASAP. I need them before the finals. They didn't even, you know, cement that spot. So Jimmy Butler, if you're watching, step it up. Other than that, we got these glow slides. Slides, I think they're going to go crazy in the summer, but price definitely went down because they restocked a bunch of times. The Shaq Gnosis Escape from LA, I believe they're called. Again, you're not really finding those at a sneaker store but you know we can flip them if we get them for the right price here we got the rebellion airs obviously you guys know the story with these started off very hot and they kind of uh, went down a little bit but I think long term this might be a good shoe here we got a Rey Mysterio elite figure shouts to Evan he put a lot of these figures online they're starting to actually sell and uh, we're just getting started with the figures, so hopefully we keep putting those up cool uh, Mitchell and Ness cap here we got some black cat sixes we got some hyper posits I'm really happy about this sale because this sneaker retails for like $250 they never sell i mean even some of the rare colorways you can't really get 150 200 out of them and you would expect that especially after all this time speaking of stuff that we're starting to put on ebay here we got a y2j shirt y2j chris jericho wwf as you can see uh, we're really starting to pump out the t-shirts when it comes to putting stuff on ebay especially wrestling we got this cool double-sided jamie fox 2007 shirt this one right here is a banger got this at the flea recently you might see it in my video i mean look at this guys look at that patch size 52 i honestly wanted to keep it but i just keep way too much stuff size four used was just sitting there we started putting gs stuff online and it's starting to sell put out a video yesterday included a phone call i wasn't sure i wanted to put out the phone call branded by berwin berwin thought that it was worth putting out there we'll be honest with you guys i'm very passionate about my business if you can't see that already or can't tell from the videos so yeah it was just a phone call the only reason i took the phone call is for the content so if you guys think i'm taking phone calls like that never anything else just the action figures uh there's a lot of action figures is gonna be on the eBay, so whenever this video drops, check it out if you're a fan. Yes, a lot of action figures gonna hit the eBay, a lot of wrestling shirts gonna hit the eBay. Got new t shirts coming in for the show, hopefully, they're gonna be here in time. Not really sure how we're gonna go about selling those or giving those away again, guys. Via Telegram giveaway, if we're ever doing a giveaway, only, only, only account that will contact you would be an Instagram account that's Top Shelf Kicks, our YouTube account, which is Top Shelf Kicks. That means if you click the account, you will go to our account, which has 80,000 subscribers or what have you. We'll never have a, a new account that says like Telegram, we'll never have a small 
small account that hits you up we're gonna try to continue to do these giveaways but it's getting scary because a lot of you guys are hitting me up talking about how I almost sent money to this person or you're sending money to people thinking you're getting like deals you know I'm seeing that the person's using like pictures from our eBay store so again guys just be super careful we're so sorry if you're experiencing any type of like violation of getting messaged and stuff like that it's, it's not us to everyone who's dealing with that so sorry back to the video yesterday again sometimes you're on the fence about dropping content it's just worth dropping because you know I thought I was worth it I thought it was a, a cool conversation regardless of uh, the outcome of it I just thought it was interesting that uh, that was going on let me get a couple quotes from this last video because I thought some of these were pretty funny honestly well, this is a funny comment uh, one of the most exciting top shelf episodes of all time oh this is one quote that was funny so you don't have respect for legit mark is what you saying that was pretty <laughs> funny man I mean honestly I've never heard of legit mark since then I've looked and I, I see they're in the app store they have like three out of four stars I mean Oof. we already know about don't trust that honestly do what you guys do and I'm not saying if you use check check or any of these apps for your benefit you're wrong in any shape or form right I'm just saying like think about that guys you're buying something that you can touch and you're sending pictures to an app I get it you're trying to get some help try your best to study this stuff I mean it's, you're not gonna learn it every single day I mean it's not gonna you know come to you quick but the more you do it the more you study the more you look into things to your best ability the more you're gonna know I remember growing up one of the first things that I personally realized when I was shopping for shoes at flea markets and stuff like that was fake from real Jordans one of the first things I remember was if you guys remember the the face boxes maybe I'll get Berwin to put up a picture but the face boxes used to have numbers on them usually my size included a number one so it was like size 11 or 12 right so the first number the way the the one comes down right simple things like that I learned quickly that if it looks like that it's no good if it comes down straight like that it's good so again how did I learn that by going on the internet looking at magazines going on Nike talk all that stuff you know just be careful even if an app is legit and you're sending them pictures just be careful if you can like so we got to say be careful Gary anything for the people who want to check out the orders anything hey hold up Gary is not gang affiliated <laughs> no, no, no. I forgot what year these were but Black I remember, no 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 hyper positive yeah, right yeah, yeah. retail super high right those were a good those were a good basketball suit I'm not gonna lie wow, I forgot. that's a heavy one I like those shoes I don't know there was like a blue and like yellow colorway that I remember wearing as a kid. Yes, yes, the uh it was teal. Yeah. Tealish with with yellow. Yeah. Yep, yep, I, yep. I just I just had a good memory about those, so shouts out to the hyper posits. And it's good to see the wrestling figures selling and the wrestling shirts. Yes. So. Gary's gonna get on that soon. Gary's been pumping out the uh shoe pictures. We're gonna all start doing toys and uh, shirts and sweatshirts and jackets and all that good stuff. Also sports cards soon too. So but right now we're at over forty three hundred items on eBay, which is crazy because we just surpassed four thousand. So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking 5,000 soon. I'm thinking 5,000 listings, 100K subs, and one day 50K on Instagram. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, at Top Shelf Kicks on Instagram. That's about it. Throw the ball up and knock it the Playoffs kind of thing, like 150, 140. Okay. And that was like 280, 270. Yeah, 270. Yeah. Right, cool. And you're just looking to get cash on no trades or nothing, right? Uh, no, yeah. Just... All right. <laughs> Oh, Bro, I see the store the whole time in the video. Like, oh, first time here? Yeah, it looks dope as hell, bro. Where are you from? From from Patterson. Oh, oh word. Bro, appreciate the store you, bro. looks dope as hell, bro. I appreciate it. Damn. I appreciate you taking the trip. You're from Patterson? Um, can you do 250? 260? That's cool. Can you do one, um, 120 on these? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Uh, 260. All right, what's the best way for you? Uh, you got cash. Uh, no cash right now. Give me Venmo, Zelle, Apple Pay. Uh, Zelle's fine. Okay, cool. How much were you looking for for these? Forty is a number. I guess we can see. Damn, that's the cleanest I've ever seen up here. <laughs> these actually were. Uh, oh my god. I got them swapped because they were. Oh. That's cleaner, so. Okay. Because the, everything, they're all crumbling now. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, did a phenomenal job. They're clean as hell. I've seen Red Octobers and the straps just like going. My solars are pretty good still. The glow isn't that good when you go out in the sun, yeah. but for the most part, it's pretty good. Can we good. do two? Because we're only going for like 240 now. And we have a few pairs. You couldn't do retail? I couldn't. We just have a few pairs that should kind of yeah, die down. I know. Especially the smaller sizes too. Yeah, exactly. Like we, the, for some reason, the bigger size is going for like three fifty and more. I know. Like a twelve I, is I like four hundred. I sold my twelve for like a pretty decent price. It's just crazy that the, the smaller sizes. Back yeah. in the day, it used to be backwards. Yeah, I know. Like the small size used to go for a lot, and the big size for nothing. Do you guys sell T-shirts? Yeah, we do. What size would you need? Are they like looser, f loosing, f loose fit kind of? Yeah, the new ones are a little bit different from the older ones, material-wise. Mm -hmm. But I do think this one is a lot looser. 
a little bit thinner. So this one is, this is a 2X. I don't know what size you usually wear. I'm usually like an X, but if it's like a tighter shirt, I get a 2 This is a 2X. Okay. So that that may be like a little bit big on you. Yeah, it looks for your like, For your like, I think you might need an XL. Yeah, I'll probably do an XL. How much for the shirts? Uh, 25, right? Yep. Yeah, 25 for right, I'll take an XL shirt. All right. Do you want to do it separately, like the, the, the shirt from this, or to take off the 25 from this? Just do it separate if you don't mind. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Because uh, we, we have it up, like we have it. What's the best way for you? We put it up. Uh, the Zell clips are your going to. Uh, I think we Zell. What's the number? Uh, what's the best way for you? Uh, can you do Zell? All right. Let's see what you do. I also have these. I don't know if you'd be interested. Whatever else I want, they were spoken like. Want, so. Did you call about these earlier? Maybe. For how much you want for these? I was thinking 800. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was call. me that called? Yeah, you called earlier. Yeah, so but you don't want them? 800 is just too. We're going on, bro. 200. I mean, what can you do? Because, like, I'm trying to get an airbrush kit. Mm -hmm. So I really don't. These don't serve me anymore. If you just give me the best price, if it sounds good, you can have them. Oh, uh, what's the best price you've been offered so far? 750, I believe it was. Yeah, so I'll offer you 750. What's going on? That, honestly. Yeah. Just looking at the prices, they're kind of like all over the place. It's like up and down. Like last year was nine twenty five, then it drops to six eighty seven, then it go up to seven ninety nine, mm -hmm. then okay. to a thousand, then back down stuff. It's just like literally just bouncing all over the place. It's like one of them things. Like what someone willing to pay? You right, know what I'm yeah. saying? If someone's offering you five seven fifty for them. I would say like take that honestly. That's a that's a pretty good offer. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we're kind of close. Uh, it's just one of them things that's really hard. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably keep them. I don't know. I have to decide yet. Honestly, bro, if you could get a seven fifty for a plain all black four, right? That's that why was, I'm, that's that why was I'm literally saying. sitting pre COVID. Uh, take that money, bro. You just sitting pre COVID. I went sitting. to Menlo Park, bro. It was a bunch of shit. Exactly. I think I think just take the money. Honestly, I feel like I don't know. It's been like two know. years now. Two now three years know. now. You know what I'm saying? If you wear them then, you definitely not wearing them now. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't think I'll wear these. But I, I don't know. I'll probably hold on to it. Try it on. Yeah. Okay. For these, I could probably do like two. Let's basically pay out on StockX. Yeah. They go for three. And it just has this little mark right here. Maybe try other places. See what no. they say. I say try other spots too, see see what they say as well. GS for us is a little bit difficult, so like some people have better like GS market or clientele. <laughs> yeah, that's fine with you. What's the best way for you? Yeah, Venmo, Apple Pay, PayPal. Oh, so. Is that yeah. right? cool. Well, she was, I was looking to trade towards those, but you want it back? I have a couple other options, I guess. What else were you looking at? Maybe the. Uh, the Cardinal Threes or the Shadow. You got some one. stuff that a lot of people are not going to remember. Right, that's all from. I'm 46, so this is back <laughs> 10 years ago. And, you know, the big pants, big jerseys. I think the like, cool thing about this this, one. this one's dope as hell. I don't even think I've ever wore this. I like these two because, were they cousins? No, no, this is the wrong. No, uh, no it was him and uh, I was a huge big fan back in the day, bro. Was and I had all different ones. His cousin is Quincy Carter, right? I think like Quincy another, Carter was like his cousin another. or something like that. But this, oh, this is by far. <laughs> to me, like, I think this and then Randy Moss. Before I even found you guys, like a year or so, yeah. maybe a little bit more, mm -hmm. I had a ton of stuff I was just trying to get rid of. I didn't know no one was, anybody was going to buy this shit, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm putting it in bags and bringing it to the drop-off, the clothes drop-off. Right? Yeah. <laughs> No, you got some, you got a lot of good stuff, man. A lot of stuff is, uh, you know, bringing you back, like the Aaron Brooks. What's up, yes. man? All right. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's all jerseys. What's the you. Yeah. <laughs> you have a price to monitor everything you're looking well, for? I was thinking, I, I was looking to trade. I wanted the, the Bordeaux ones. I called the other day, but they just sold yesterday, or I think no, yesterday, the 13. Yeah, he didn't pay, so we're going to oh, probably... All right. Well, that's what I was thinking. Try to, I was try at like to 150 with this stuff, uh, a couple of pair and yeah, the jerseys and the hats, I think. Thank you, bro. No, we no problem. Right. Right. Yeah. Where was it? Well, the jerseys by themselves, I was like 150 with the sne like with the sneakers, maybe like 20, 25 a pair. With the jerseys or? Well, I think a little bit. I was right around that 225 you were asking for the Bordeaux. So you want to trade all this stuff in for the Bordeaux? Pretty much okay, somewhere cool. in there. Yeah, we don't have one. We can do, bro. If that's fair for you. Yeah, got it. Um, is that what you were looking for, the Bordeaux ones? Yeah, that's what I was pretty much. Um, 13. Okay, cool. I literally just put them back this morning. This was I just never seen anything. Yeah. I never seen anything like with these studs on them and shit. Check those out. I'm gonna put this stuff right here. Is this like a better quality than the, like the Shadow 2s? The 
just looks like this. 2.0s? Yeah. Nicer. Now, is that the only shoe you're interested in? Was there any other pair you were interested uh, in? Offhand, I was just really coming here, but... Um, I was like, I'll, I'll try to cancel that, you know what I mean? Well, this is what I wanted, but if you... No, I'm not going to make you cancel. You know? No, no, no. Like I said, the 2.0s, Cardinal 3s, maybe. So it, it kind of depends. If, on if what, we can what do were these, those we'll priced at? I told him he told me 2 and a quarter. Okay, 2 and a quarter. So, that's so you wanted basically kind of at least two, two and a quarter had. here. I'd probably be a little more than two and a quarter value wise for you. So I that's why I'm trying. I was giving you. Yeah, no, I, I understand. You take I'm care of me. I'm yeah, of course, you know 100%. I mean? so, I appreciate it. So, so that's why I'm trying to see like if you want Give those. Give me a number. You, what would be left over that I could put more money to to get something else around 300 somewhere in ballpark. So you want that shoe plus. Plus, I would take something else. Okay, so yeah, yeah you if, tell if me what you're interested over. in. Um, if we were at 225, I, I'd say three range. So like any okay. shoe you mentioned, maybe the Cardinals or like whatever, uh, something like that. So there may be, so you're saying maybe 75. Oh, well, you're not gonna find that on like 200. What do you got? Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if you'd ra like, these you like used, maybe you had it, like, pick a better more. shoe than that. You feel me I, that I way? Like that color but if you like it, my well, business well, is that color, oh, like gray. Oh, so there and, it is. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that maroon. Yeah. I just so if that's it, that's but, it. Yeah. We can even throw you some cash, bro. Like I'm not. Right. You know, if you'd rather do that too, that's fine. Cardinals, we have. You want to check those out? Where would we be? I would the both. So it'd probably be a wash with the Cardinals, and then I would pay for the other ones, the ones. Uh, yeah. Okay. Most likely. We can yeah. Let me. Can I see them? Yeah, of course. Um <laughs> it's summertime joint. That's a good one. Like I'd I'm recommend I got the Joker. That's that just are a classic mint still true, you know. Which I've mean? had a long time. I still have the black cements I wear once in a blue moon. Hey. Guys, he's always talking about the black cement threes, right? Is that your favorite sneaker? The black cement three? It's definitely yeah. <laughs> That's probably if you like Universal favorite Jordan favorite sneaker. That's probably universally a good fifty percent of everyone's right. favorite. Right. You know, I mean, not assume. All right, so so you want to do these two? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let me just make sure I could cancel this, and then how do you want to pay the difference? Okay, cool. Okay, come looks. Uh, do you need bags? I'll put it in this thing. All right, perfect. Hopefully you got some big dudes that are wear that 60 and the 4X, bro. They're cool jerseys. <laughs> they are. Like I Honestly, said, I this one, I might try to get tailored down to my size. Because this is fire. Oh, did you see the hats, too? There yeah, were yeah. Hats. No, there I might have that. been a Pacers hat to match that exact. No, I, I couldn't do that. I didn't that throw it. <laughs> That's how it was back in the <laughs> you, day. You hey, I remember. I mean? the dip I matched days, from man. every little D thing. D-Lock and dip yes. days. Yeah, you had to. Even the jeans, remember? With the bow jeans with the matching colors. The navy blue with the whites. were the. Yeah. That's good. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. You guys have a good holiday. Be back. <laughs> Anyways, we just got in a, a couple of cool jerseys. Good client of ours came by, sold us some cool things. <laughs> you gotta put that on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's too small for the dome ski. But uh, shouts to him, he came by, he traded a bunch of cool stuff in. He had a number for his items, and uh, I came up on that number. He was looking for like two ish. I ended up coming up to three ish. <laughs> As you can see, Jordan has this new outfit that he can wear. This is my favorite item out of the batch this Ron Artest piece right here. It is a size 60, but uh, I might keep it just to wear it sometimes like this, or maybe try to get it tailored down one day. Some other cool items in here, some old Air Forces, uh, stuff like that. Again, just stuff usual stores probably wouldn't take nowadays but we can kind of try to flip anything if it makes sense this one's gonna go fast i can tell now guys should i just wear this for the rest of the day probably might do that i'll try to get in a bucket real quick bro i'm gonna keep the camera running i'm not gonna say that because like they want the michigans oh <laughs> <laughs> he got them back there too <laughs> 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 Checking in real quick. These just came in. This is the Six Rings Nelly LS edition. Honestly, I never had this sneaker authentic before, but seeing that it just came in, I thought we'd talk about it and kind of just break down what Nelly meant to Jordan Brand and I think Nike as well. I kind of like never put them in the same category, but now that I think about it, I feel like Nelly kind of paved the way for Travis Scott, paved the way for DJ Khaled, Drake, all these guys who are getting these collaborations with Nike and Jordan. You know, back in the day, I feel like Nelly was that guy. 
he didn't really have a lot of collaborations that you could buy. Off the top of my head, I remember these. I don't remember these being very easy to get at all. I do remember he had a pair of Spiss Ikes that were pretty easy to get, the black, purple, and uh, green editions. And other than that, I feel like all of the Nelly stuff was super rare, whereas like if you had it, it was crazy. Like kind of like how now, if you have like a DJ Khaled edition or like a Terra Squad edition, or you know, I would say Travis Scott, but obviously Travis Scott's like got released to the public, a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I just never thought about it in that light before. And thinking about that now is just crazy because obviously Jumpman and Nike's best collabs and best drops are usually stuff with influencers, celebrities, you know, musicians, rappers, whatever it is. Just thinking back to the effect Nelly had on the sneaker game is just crazy. Not just on the sneaker game, but obviously on like the whole rap culture, sneaker culture in general, white tee culture, headband culture. I mean, white Air Force culture, of course, just like everything about uh, sneakers was Nelly growing up when I was younger. And now you guys have Drake, Kanye, Travis obviously is like the main one. Drake's up there. I mean, you know, Drake gets his collabs obviously, but not as much as Travis. I mean, Kanye as well also like is on a whole nother level. When we just talk about sneaker history and stuff like that, I feel like we don't really talk about Nelly enough. And I think it maybe is because Nelly's not around as much. Maybe because Nelly has been catching maybe a few cases here and there that, that uh, the world doesn't like speaking about, which is terrible obviously. You know, there's a lot of reasons, right? Maybe he's just like not in the sneakers. I don't know if they've ever done one, but like complex. I need to drop the bag and have Nelly come sneaker shop and see what Nelly remembers in his stories about Air Force Ones and probably having like 500 pairs. I mean, they had to have done that, right? They have, they, they did it, right? They had to have done that. Wow. The only thing that comes up when I search Nelly sneaker shopping episode is Nelly explains why the Air Force One fell off nine years ago sneaker watch. There is no sneaker shopping with Nelly, bro. But there's sneaker shopping with David Beckham. And it's like, I, I get it, <laughs> but is that a wrong take? That like Nelly's more important in the sneaker culture than David Beckham? No, I agree. Like he's more important than David Beckham. Uh, problem is David Beckham is like a national global celebrity slash athlete. It's a little different. Boy. To me, yeah. To me, like, you know, sneaker culture and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, that's crazy that I don't think Nelly has a sneaker shopping episode. He deserves one. Maybe I'll hit him up and say, hey, you gotta come shop here. I don't know if I have enough bread though. He, he's gonna probably want the bag. I'd assume, you know, Nelly to come out of retirement for a like, <laughs> YouTube video. You know, we usually don't pay celebrities or athletes or rappers or anyone else to pull up here. It's usually totally organic. So anyway, guys, for, you know, I know I wanna keep this channel obviously very business oriented and uh, kind of educational too. I see a lot of you guys comment about how you learn stuff. And uh, so I just felt like we had to take an opportunity to talk about one of the goats when it comes to this uh, sneaker stuff and, and to me. Now that I've really sat there and analyzed it, that's Nelly. And let's take a look at Buck helping out Jordan with pictures. <laughs> Funny because Jordan, what did you just say? I think Nelly influenced everyone when it came to Air Forces in like the early 2K. Like, what did you literally say though? You were not wearing. You were not wearing Air Forces like colorful ones. Right? Like for example, like you were not wearing these without Nelly. Like, right, let's just be honest. Or these right here, which which uh, happened to sell, you know, I had to pull the camera back out because you literally just said, oh, you weren't wearing colorful Air Force Ones if it wasn't for Nelly. And I just remember we sold these. And I've also saw an increase in Air Force One sales for us in particular. I feel like we've sold a few uh, the last couple weeks. So again, just, you know, classic uh, pairs, stuff like that. Sounds crazy, but if you walked into the mall wearing these back then, forget about it. This was ridiculous. I mean, find another pair, I, you know? It's just crazy stuff, as, as ugly as you think they might look. These were something crazy, so we're gonna make sure to get these packed up and get back to work. Another one, Joe Fresh Goods. Oh, no, they haven't come in yet. I got the baby shower ones. How much are you looking for for these? Uh, three for these and 260. Okay. What size is this? I think it's 11 and a half. Yeah, I guess these are a little lower than I thought. I mean, are you stuck at three or because they're at uh, 290 well, right now? I don't know. Um, last sale was, I think, like 355. You could do. 321. Maybe yeah. I'm gonna go probably. Yeah, no, nah, there was one. The 321, I think, was at like 2 o'clock. There was one at like 8 o'clock or something. What was retail on them? 250. Okay. And they charged me 725 for um shipping, new balance. So, like, you paid 275, right? Yeah. Um, you could do 280. This is the brown one? Yeah. And this one? Uh, it's a 12, and the box is a little bit damaged in the corner. Okay. Which is for oh. retail. Size 12, you said? Yeah. Okay. So you're looking for 230 and 280? Well, I thought it was 260 to retail. Okay. Um, no, I could do 250. I saw a pair of like 245. So you paid 275 on these? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's kind of like. I'm not, I'm not gonna like go, you know, back and forth three or five bucks. I feel like it's yeah, yeah. worth me having them regardless if they go up in a long time. Yeah, I sure. thought I would like them. Do they run big? I haven't even. Yeah, I haven't tried them on or nothing. 
but I would say my protection pack was a look like a half size, like too short. I would go up a half a size, so these I would assume is the same. I guess that's cool, bro. I'm not really gonna like hassle you. That's fine. Gotcha. Oh, away of him, it's best. Um, no? Cool. Oh, we could try. Should be good. What's this for Razor Bulls? Yeah, over for the half of high knees and this, these two. Yeah. I took off of them. I think this one we already spoke about. Yeah, I spoke about that. I'm cool with that price. Yeah, that's crazy they really offer you that. Yeah, like have me bring all the shoes upstairs and then off of that. I'm like, I should have had my GoPro. Like at least three, like, like, like $250. You know, I'll be $30 over and have it for a year. How much for these? Uh, I'll do box price on them. How much here? Um, which one would you? Onyx. Uh, no, no, those those are the wrong box. Oh. Those are wrong, those are five hundred, so. but box. Those are the beluga reflectors. Oh, the one in my hands? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The wrong box? Yes, yeah, wrong box. A couple more? Uh, yeah, more? these the rest of uh, these are these are this. Okay, this and these are used. I think out of all the sneakers, I might just be interested in the fours. Okay. And I could run that 375 like we spoke about. Yeah, I'll probably just hold on to them, man. What's that, the fours? Uh, yeah, all of them. You know, oh. that's, that's something nice to just make the little lot look a little better, you know what I'm saying? Nah, when I feel I you. Pull up. How much were you looking for for the jersey? Make me an offer, man. Give me some store credit. Let me grab some. Put a little cash with it and grab some. Let me know what you're uh, thinking. At least a buck. Buck, yeah, Buck's gonna be tough. It's a swing man, cool jersey, but I'll probably be far less on the swing man. We usually pay way less on the swing man, like 20. Swing man, that's not a swing, that's not a Nike, bro. That's a hardwood classic. Yeah, I know, but a swing man, it's not authentic. Oh, so I'll probably be far less, probably like 20, 30 on this one. Oh, yeah, no, I'm yeah, Appreciate you, you know, Yeah, no problem. What's up, guys? Bro, I'm back with What's another. Hot in the <laughs> get the fit, get the fit. <laughs> All right, we're already going, so. <laughs> <laughs> Today we got on the Houston Rockets 1994 vintage tee with the real tree camo, one of Jordan's favorites, cargo the pants. The best cargo pants I have until I get a Carhartt one or a Wrangler. This is perfectly Carhartt. And then we got Nike Spiridons, one of my favorite collabs to ever come out. So no hat today. Got to chill off the cut. So to start off, we got a lightly, lightly used playoff in a size 10. You guys can see. Very, very clean. Resin 700. This is a size 11. Lightly, lightly used. This Vermilion Foam Runner size 12. Pretty much brand new. This Zebra 350. This is a size 10. Right here, we have the Holy Trifecta of 11s. Concords, the Space jams and the bread 11s we have two size 12s now both of them are very clean especially this one you can eat dinner off that one this one too obsidian ones size 12 we also probably have an 11 and 11 and a half we got a bread four lightly lightly used size 12 right gary yep Yep. Green Glow. This is a size 11. Lightly, lightly used. Black Hat 4. We've been selling, we've actually been selling a lot of Black Hats recently. This is a size 12. And we still have this size 11 and a half. And that's pretty much it for this side of the room. Then over here, we have these KDs that we just got in. This is a size 9. I feel like these are going to be gone by the weekend. Super, super clean. If you know, you know. Then going to the slat wall, we have this beautiful array of ones that we just got recently. Mostly all size 12. Royals, Sidians, OG UNC. DMP ones, bread toes, the 420 Celtic ones, those pine green ones, and the court purples have been here for a while, but we just put this array of ones together recently. These SBs in the A and a half, not exactly sure which ones these are called, but super, super clean. These new balances, I believe these are the VHMs. Oh! <laughs> I'm just looking at oh, them, bro. it's hot in the shop, the guys. Face these face. these might be gone already. So as I was saying, these BHM New Balances. I think these are a size size nine. Lightly let you use BHMs. You guys can see from the slat wall, it looks a little empty just because we've been selling a lot of stuff recently. So oh, we also got this Kobe. Tried it on. It was too small. The Kobe Grinch lightly used size eight. No original green laces, but the red laces are there. And then moving on to the case that's a size 8 union 2 we got the jedi sb classic right there in the a and a half we still have all
all three of the unions. I think we have a nine or nine and a half in those. We have an Argon and nine, nine and a half, and then a Laker Union and an eight. Right here, we just put an Olive Travis Scott six with the yellow laces. What size is the Trav? Ten, ten and a half. Do we still got the eight and a half? I don't think so. Alright, so eight and a half. So, so ten, ten and a half. So and ten, ten and a half in the Trav six Olive, and then we also have another UNC one right here too. And then right here, we got a couple of shirts out. Um, Jordan's been flicking up some of the vintage tees. We've gone to that part of the store where basically everything in here is up except this side of the store. So all the hockey jerseys, baseball jerseys, basketball jerseys are up. All the hoodies, sweaters, and crew necks are up. Now we just gotta work on getting this side of vintage tees along with some of the hype tees up for you guys to look at on our eBay. As I mentioned earlier, we got over 4,300 items, maybe more by the end of this weekend. You guys know where to buy it, topshelfkicks.com. And before I end the segment, I forgot that we got some really, really cool vintage hats in. So we got this Cleveland Browns one, Seattle Supersonics, UMass Vintage Hat, Florida Gators Vintage Hat. This one's really cool right here. Colorado Buffaloes and this Michigan Stark Tooth Hat. This array of vintage hats is currently up on our eBay store. Definitely check it out. And that's pretty much it for the segment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. Catch you guys soon. Peace. What's up guys? I'm back. I got another package to unpackage. I got this shirt initially on eBay and it was the wrong size. It was a kid's large. I returned it and then I found this one on I think Depop for around the same price. So I'm not totally mad about rebuying it. Hopefully it's the right size this time, so let's get into it. Top shelf. Hi, um, I'm coming up to you a lot. I just looked on the eBay store and I see that y'all have the uh, Concord 11 to 512. Mm -hmm. I still got those. Yeah, we still have them. Oh, this is brown. I know your voice. Yep. Um, <laughs> What's good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come up there. I wanna trade some Travis Scott for those, uh, them, them Concords. But I can't get them to hold them for me because I don't know if I'm gonna make it tonight. I might have to come tomorrow. <clears throat> Travis Scott. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, uh, the, the six is right? Yeah, the Travis Scott six is yours. I remember them. Alright. I right, got this this donut right here. Yeah. Um, this is the six. This is the Travis Scott six. Yeah. This is the six. I got you. Alright, so I'm gonna try to take it up there either tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Alright, good luck, guys. You got it. Back know, to this. Know your voice. Here we go. Is it the right size this time? Oh, it's that shirt. You don't, oh. no, you don't really want that <laughs> shirt. <laughs> <laughs> It's an XL. Yeah, he don't really want it. He don't. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, you really don't Anyways, want that. got the right size this time. Shout out to the guy who sold it to me. See you guys in the next clip. All right, I'm back. Finishing off the day. Great day today. A lot of sales, buying, selling, trading. Shout out to everyone who pulled up. Shout out to everyone who purchased something on our eBay page. Shout out to everyone who's been watching the YouTube. Subscribe, liking the you know content. I think it's a beautiful thing. Again, I just really love good business. Good business is important, whether you do that here or anywhere else. And uh, lately, I've been just trying to preach good business to these guys and everyone who comes in here we, we try to make sure that they have a good business experience whether they're buying selling or trading obviously we we're not always going to agree with uh, an offer or you know we can't make everybody happy but from a business perspective we try our best to do great business uh, all across the board so thanks to you guys we are able to continue to do that and uh, we're not gonna stop doing that that's for sure and guys I know the other day you guys saw that I hit a bounce one and done we're not gonna talk much about that I mean it's pretty crazy to do something like that but 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 the other day guys I hit multiple shots from back here just throwing it <laughs> so my next one and done try which i guess is tuesday because i'm not going to make uh jordan forfeit his one and done like he did to me the other week i'm <laughs> throwing it from back here so tune in tuesday for that two questions okay was it, was it recorded and did you win that game i really don't remember my wins because like i'm like barry sanders i've been there so many times it don't matter i just give the ball back to the ref you understand i just give the ball back to the ref i don't remember do i have it on video i do so i don't need to pull it out because i do have have it on video. I'm not that type of guy to pull. I do. Yeah, I also I yeah, also have Berwin shot. Berwin hit a shot the other day off the Kobe. So guys, if you don't know, you know we play, we play horse slash pig over here. Lately, we made a new rule where if you hit the Kobe shoe, which is hanging from the ceiling over there, and it goes in, you win automatically. And Berwin won. And uh, we have someone coming in. So let's cue the tape. This is for you, my guy. Damn. Shout out to Ikea one time. Thank you. Ooh, I ooh, forgot ooh. the uh, the calls box because I came from work. If I'd have been home, I'd have brought it. The uh, Reese's calls box. Oh, word. Nah, good I got them in my cabin. I'd bring well, one we will use that Ikea bag, that's for sure. So what did you have in mind? Also, you can trade a couple of dollars on top. I understand, you know. What did you want to do with those two? I don't know. I was trying to see what I could get for me. 
because it's like they just sit in my closet. I need them to get. I know it ain't like no old year. Me get a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, but it's something. Those brand new. What are you want for these? I don't know. I just don't like them. I would do a hundred for these two, and then I'll do a swap for the Concord. Can you do one twenty-five? What's that? Hundred. Matter of fact, give me a hundred in a, in a t-shirt. That's valid. We could do that. Let me grab the size Evan uh, 4X. 4X. Uh, I think we should have one left. What's the best way of payment for you? So, uh, cash, either one. Apple Pay. Apple Pay. Cool. Yeah, it's Apple Pay. That works. We just had a client come in, do a quick exchange. We got some items in. I'm just going to talk about one item real quick, guys. The Air Presto. If you've never worn a pair of Air Prestos, I suggest it. It is an extremely comfortable sneaker. It's one of those shoes that if you wear it like one day, you'll probably end up wanting to wear it the rest of the week because good, good pair. Doug, I was saying something. So yeah, I hit a shot from here. Berwin hit a shot off the Kobe and that's what's been going on. So now Jordan's been thinking about this all day. You've been thinking about the... That supposedly one These shot. guys have been colluding for the game tonight. <laughs> thinking that they're going to win the pig. Back to back chin. They don't got to collude. That's crazy. You know what's crazy? He's talking about that one hand shot, but he didn't win those games. He didn't do that. So it don't whoa, matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't win those games. You hit on Saturday. I really don't remember. I do remember one game in particular where I hit a shot. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just going to, I mean, if he, I don't want to go there, but he's going there. No, no, he's going to say he threw a shot off the wall, catching air, shoot. I made it, but supposedly I didn't No, no, not supposedly. What did Jordan just say? He said, catch in the air Which I did. this is Jordan catching in the air ball coming off the wall Gary so technically <laughs> Gary, I Gary. What's the truth? but again these guys were so excited when Jordan hit that shot you would have thought it was game seven <laughs> world series Stanley Cup Gary and Jordan. Ah! I was like yo there's no way <laughs> I was like, yo, no way I'm gonna like, like tell them yo, that that so doesn't hurt. Heated, bro. He went home and talked about it. Me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I wasn't that heated. I wasn't, I wasn't heated about it. Again, that's it's funny. fine. But anyways, yeah. that's what happened. And one of these days we'll do the 4K HD version of a pig game. Go ahead, you should last shot. Thank you. Thank you, Or should we do it right now? I'm down. You, you want to lose like that? That's what we're doing, Ooh. guys. Today's the day. Ooh. So this you're gonna take your, done. you're gonna take this one and done. I'm gonna do the AG bounce. Oh, oh my gosh, he really <laughs> almost got it. <laughs> So, you know, for the moment type of thing, I've always wanted to do this, but today is the first time we're going to film one of our pig games. So that means Gary's gonna go full Rutgers on us, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see what happens. All right, it's gonna go, you know, same order as yesterday. Because Jordan won yesterday, which is rare occurrence, just kidding, Jordan wins all the time, guys. Back to, back to um, back champ. Jordan's, you know, on a hot streak. Whoever wins gets to pick the order. So Jordan, pick your order. Same as yesterday. Me, A, Gary, Berwin, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're laughing. No, that's why they're laughing. That's crazy. It's okay, guys. Let's Let's run. <laughs> Jump shot. Okay, my shot. I'm All sorry, right, guys, but I can't. He wants to play so bad. That, like, <laughs> <laughs> he wants to play so bad that he's gonna try to get those two out and then try to get me out. I'm like, oh yeah. Good, Is it me? Nah, or oh, uh, uh, mm, Berwin. Berwin. Berwin's trying to kill me. Oh, he got the spray dogs on. He's feeling good. Yeah, Is there any way we can just put it on the box or something? Jump shot. Oh my god. He's <laughs> laughing for the media. The fans. <laughs> We're all a little uh, nervous, guys. We're not on film usually. Alright, just check. Off the wall, catch a one hand shot. Fair. Off the wall, one hand shot. Catch one hand shot. No. Catch in the air, correct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is how, this is what's going on. Oh. All right. <laughs> what you shoot it like? How you left? <laughs> Backboard. Hey, yo, <laughs> Jordan. Pass. Yeah, that's far. His body up. I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to start him up. I'm about to take the jacket off in a sec. <laughs> he, got the, he got the bull shorts, the authentic. We're, we're all looking very bad. Yeah, we're looking right real now, bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to cancel this one. Yeah. 
Alright, new game, here we go. Jordan, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> nah, it's the same game. No one had a letter. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, we're not shitting anything. He has a letter. I had a letter. Oh, my bad. I just said I'm sorry, guys. Stop shock. Wait, are you back? Are we actually starting? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you missed it, right? <laughs> no, you made it. I mean, that's basically like right there, right? Yeah, right there. I almost missed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? A jump? Just a regular jump, jump shot? Don't overthink it, bro. Oh, oh my yeah. god! I'm overthinking <laughs> stuff, yo. You're psyching yourself one, out. You're the PC3, bro. I know, I know. I should be better right now. You said I should be better, bro. <laughs> I didn't sell that. I just said you used to be C3s. Uh, one hand through the wire. Oh my god. Let's go, Evan. Let's go, Evan. Hey, look at Team Warehouse over there. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, Man. look. Y'all colluding, so. Jordan's not even stepping outside the, the paint. You see that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, baby. Ah! ah! Big talker, big talker. Oh, that's just broke. <laughs> oh. This video might be three hours long. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Real bad. Uh, oh, you just gave me an idea for. Oh my god. Good oh pass, the wrong person. Good pass, it up. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jump shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, no. We should have oh, yeah. recorded yesterday's game. Yeah. Jumper. Oh, there we go. I'm him. You're not him, Athy. That's right. Where was it? I don't know. By the pole. Right yeah, by the pole. Oh damn! Sorry, bro. Man. <laughs> Let that thing fly. <laughs> Unconscious. Here we go. Hey yo! <laughs> yo! <laughs> I can't be on camera. Hey yo! Wow. Jump shot. Right. Oh my god! Y'all are nervous, like, man. Oh, Y'all are nervous. A tad. There you go. A tad. Oh. Oh. Wow. I just need one deep shot to fall. See, yeah, that's when the footage gets fun. We got the movers and takers. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right, you, baby. Oh, damn, I forgot. <laughs> oh, jump shot. Oh, my God. I feel like the NBA cameraman. Oh, my God. Man. The NBA cameraman. Oh, my God. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy! Catching the air, shoot. Oh, Yo, he literally just did what he was just talking about. No, no, no. Really? Yeah! Alright, speak up then. Then it was the <laughs> But that's not, not the time against you, though. <laughs> not that time. I was fully in the air. It's okay, that's Evan. Cool. Evan, what you got, Evan? P.I. Damn. Has Jordan hit a shot? Yeah, he did. Off the foot. Catch. Oh. Subs, man. I need some help. Can't get a oh, bucket. Oh. This is league pass right here. Oh. 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 a regular shot you can't jump or no you gotta say no, no jumper jump. no no I, I was about to jump but I was gonna yeah, say right, right, right. just, just making sure we're on the same page here I'm gonna break today man <laughs> <Virgil's with me. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you can both of those right out you know spin off the pole oh okay uh, okay uh, okay Oh, wow, that's a that was a very 
Greg Oden, post, post Marcus Aldridge. Very Get him out of here. Post move. Let's go, Evan. That was very Gary like. Wait, so. Spin and then shot. Off the spin around the pole. Dang, give it a give it a second, man. Give give yourself give it, give yourself some time. Don't listen to your coach. Oh, <laughs> listen, right. coach here, mouth over there. That's two on one. It's all right, guys. All right. <laughs> I'm a fighter, guys. Don't worry. I got some secrets. It's funny, I go all inside game. Off the knee, catching the air shoot. Oh, no. oh sorry. Hold on. Oh, come on, I can't buy a buck. Jump shot. Oh, that was bad. I get 715, we've literally been missing shots for 15 minutes. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Going to the big one. Go ahead, G Baby. He's really doing that too. He's trying to throw your game off, bro. <laughs> 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 Still alive. Still alive. Let's go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Jordan? First peak. That's it. We all got That's pee. it. What you got? We all have pee. Pushing pee. He's sweating. He's sweating. Oh. That's not his body. In the bowl. <sighs> See? Hook shot. Oh! oh guys. Hook shot. Alright, let's go back to the classic. Bounce. Off the wall, bounce, through the legs. Tony Kukoc. Jumper. Oh. You hit it? Nah. Uh, Water break, this me. Hop mm -hmm. step. I gotta film Neil guys about to win. Hop step. Did Jordan just say he has a feeling New York get or New York get? That's funny, he just said that. I'm kind of A out. Alright. That's crazy. Now he brought a tweet. That's what I need. Turn Why up. Why you do that? Why you <laughs> Why you? Oh, that, he did that on purpose. <laughs> He can't make lots of pressure. Look, look, look. He can't make lots of pressure. Get that shit. He can't make lots of pressure. Hop step this real quick. Hop step. Oh. Creasing things up, boys. Already <laughs> fried. Oh, yikes. Get him out of here. Fried. Oh, yikes. Get him out of here. Yeah, that's tough. That's <laughs> tough. Yeah, get him out of here. That's tough. I got the reach, baby. <laughs> Come on, I'm like six nine. Oh, good pass. Good pass. Another good pass. Left leg jump shot. Oh my god. Yeah, if this was any other day, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> I would have won already if this was any other day. Oh my god. Uh oh. You're not making no, this. No, he's hit that like he's four not or five making times. it. Oh. He hit that like four or five <laughs> times. <laughs> you heard it? He said four or five Spin. times. That thing. Yeah! That be getting so scared. Why you scared of him? There you Come go. On, yo. There you go. Nice shot, kid. Come on, yo. We're not scared out here. Mm -hmm. You right. Oh, oh. right. What the Celtics said. <laughs> you right. What the Celtics said. We don't duck no smoke over here. Evan, any right. thoughts so far? This game is crazy. You right. <laughs> no smoke over here. Hey. Oh. Okay. okay. We don't duck no smoke okay. over here. Yeah, back it up. Back it up, Jordan. Back it up here. Uh -huh. back, it up, back it up. Back it up. Yep. <laughs> oh. He's not making that shit. Chill, okay. He not. Okay. Jumper. That's life for Gary. Where you going? I might shoot. He made it. No, he didn't. Oh! Lefty. Oh my god. Oh, left leg right here. 
I just gotta see it go in the, the, the hoop, guys. Jumper. Watch it go in the hoop, guys. That's all I need. Yeah, oh. PI? Yeah. <gasps> no, I had, I had, no, I had P. I had P. I was about to say. I was, my, I was just trying to take a shot. Whoa, whoa. What? I what? Think he did have P. No, I had right, P. I, 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 I second shots? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. Whoa, what? what, what the? That should be a warning. That should be a warning. Yeah, that's, that's a warning. Not, next time that's a letter, you're out. Yeah, sure. I mean. <laughs> Jump shot. That went in? Yeah. yeah. Alright, it's not. You see the ricochet? Oh yeah. You see the ricochet? Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on guys. Come on guys. I'm him. <laughs> Is it jump shot? Yeah. Oh my god, you got it. That was tough. Come, 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 come. Yo, get set, get All set. Right. Get up, set. Mm -hmm. Oh good. <laughs> You're good. Oh, You're good. Oh, oh. Floaty. Oh my god. Floaty. Oh my god. I'm here though. Eight o'clock. Oh my. Oh, that shit was oh, weird. That shit. 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 Oh. We have A. Gary is out. That's crazy. Shot. Oh. We start heating up at the end. Jump shot. Oh, oh I like it. I like the pressure. Okay. P.I. me. Okay, okay. Okay, what does okay. Jordan have? Okay. Left leg jump shot. Ooh, that looked good. Jumper. It's my game to lose, guys. Jumper. Oh! oh! Here comes Jordan with the crazy shot to win it all. Whoa. Left leg shot. Ooh. I feel like it's not respectable to shoot a jumper to the for the win. I'm on camera, man. It gotta be something special. Gotta be something special. Oh. oh. I'm on camera, man. It gotta be something special. Gotta be something special. Oh. oh. Guys, it gotta be something special. We're on <laughs> camera today. It gotta be something special, man. You good, bro? You good? The bell is back with the original owner. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else to say. Come on, man. Collusion. All fun and games here, like I said, you know. Gotta be lucky sometimes. See you guys next time. Maybe we'll record this again. I'm sweating. It's like 7.30. Uh, we missed a lot of shots. Built a house with all those bricks, but, uh, you know. Anything to say? <laughs> No, nah, I'm just asking. <laughs> that, and it, it was a good game. Like, I would have said the same. Good game. I'm just happy, you know, first time we did it. I'm just glad, you know. I, that, was a, that, yeah, that was a tough game. That was a tough game. Come on, I'm sweating. Y'all colluded. I mean, I mean, come on. I, I could have shot in the paint. That was respect. That was a respectable game. Fair game. Home cooking. You know, this is <laughs> home court. We the way team, you know. Locker, but, but, but let's not mention. Locker room was cold. Yeah, yeah he, was, he, was practicing all, he was practicing all day? No, nah. nah, not today. Not, today. not the, yeah. yesterday, though. Locker room was cold. Food was stale. The way locker room wasn't you know it wasn't nice you know he get the home court you know he got the and, and let's just for, let's just just remember Berwin <laughs> got skills too all right Berwin had a bad <laughs> night that's all <laughs> Berwin had a bad day Berwin had a Berwin. bad month <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy <laughs> any any final thoughts you see the fit though come on come on <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs>